Large aquariums can be expensive. One of the most common sizes for larger tanks is 125 gallon. It's likely the next size I will actually upgrade to myself. I recently did research of the best options for setting one up on a budget. So in this video, I will share with you the three options for setting up 125 gallon while trying to save. Hi, it's Connor. Welcome to or back to my channel. So I originally started creating comparison videos shopping for my own 55 gallon aquarium. I found it enjoyable and also useful to make videos like this, so I've continued that style of video with all common tank sizes. I'm getting to the end of the series and currently have ones on 10 gallons, 20 gallons, 29 gallons, 55 gallons, and 75 gallons. So today we'll be finishing that up with a 125 gallon comparison video. My goal is to provide you with options for setting up a full 125 gallon setup, but going for the least expensive setup and items overall, just keeping in mind quality and highly recommend products as the goal. And this likely is the next size of the upgrade to, so it's especially a good exercise for me to do this size of aquarium over some of the other ones I've done in the past. Now for a setup, we're gonna be looking at the tank, a filter, heater, light, and stand. And these are the main components to get a tank up and running. There are other option components like air pumps and lids, but they're kind of optional in my opinion, it depends what setup you need, so we're gonna ignore those for this. And really just look at the minimal products you need to get a tank up and running. So in total, I want to offer three different options for setup. And this will be the cheapest overall, best all-in-one kit, and then the most stylish setup. So the first setup here, I'm going to be calling the minimal Aquion setup. And this is a similar setup we've had in all of our um, breakdowns of different common size aquariums. And the reason for this is the Aquion student tanks tend to be the cheapest tanks around, and they're also pretty highly rated, uh, known for having pretty good quality. And overall, what we're doing here is getting all the different pieces for the aquarium separate. So getting a heater on its own, a filter on its own, we're getting the Aquion tank on its own, stand on its own, etc. So nothing comes together. Now, one thing to note is the Aquion standard tanks, I usually recommend getting from Petco. That's usually where they're found the cheapest. And then Petco also has a dollar per gallon sale a couple times a year. Now, unfortunately, 125 gallons aren't listed on Petco. They kind of stop at 75 gallons. So you are going to have to do some shopping to get the tank. And it might be hard to get online, so you might have to go to local fish stores and even ask them to order it, depending on the area you live in. Now, first here, we'll look at the tank. And as I said, we're gonna go with the Aquion standard 125 gallon. And the price you're gonna expect to pay for this anywhere from $450 to $600. That's kind of the average I found looking at different sites online. I will note that a local fish store near me had them in stock for $380, but that was one and a half years ago. And obviously with prices going up and inflation, things are getting more expensive. So I expect the average cheapest you're gonna get is point fifty dollars Maybe if you have a place with older stock, you get it cheaper, but that's probably the cheapest I'd expect now. Now going on to the pieces of equipment, the one thing compared to other setups, even with tanks as large as 75 gallons that are different for 125 gallons is for the equipment, there's a lot of different options. And what I mean by this is there's a lot of different types of options. There's different ways you can do lights, you can do a 72 inch light, you can do a uh, mix of shorter lights, you can do a mix of clip-on lights, and then like filters, you can do a canister filters, hang on backs, sponge filters, etc. where previous setups, it usually was like one that was a clear winner. So I'm really gonna point out a few different options and based on your preferences, you can kind of go with what you want. So for lights, the one thing that did catch my attention was there's not many 72 inch lights. So 72 inches is the length of a standard 125 gallon. And the ones that do exist are usually a good amount over $150. For a 72 inch light, the best one I found was by Beamswork. And this is exactly $150. Overall, great reviews. I've never used this brand or they don't know much about them, but it's full spectrum. It'll fit over the whole tank. And so if you just want one light, um, that's probably the best option you're gonna get, in my opinion, in terms of saving money. If you don't wanna do that though, because that is pretty expensive, $150 for a light, the next option I think is to go with multiple lights. And so a brand that I do recommend, I have this light on my 40 gallon is by Aquanite. They have a full spectrum light. It's a pretty simple light, really just turns on and off, but I've had it work well with low tech plants and overall it's pretty bright and looks good. 425 gallon, you could do the 18 to 24 inch model because there are two braces on the 125 gallons. So this size will fit perfectly if you just get three of them. And if you do that, they're a very cheap light, about $50. So you're gonna be spending about $45 just on that. So a lot cheaper than the 72 inch light. And I think this will light up 125 gallon without any problems. 
Now going on to filters, for 125 gallon you'll actually have many options. It really depends on your preference, but some people like canister filters, hang on the back filters, or just going all sponge filters, or even a combination. One thing is that when I looked at canister filters, overall they're the most expensive, so I'm going to ignore this for this exercise and these setups. There was no single hang on the back filter that supports 125 gallons itself that wasn't very expensive. Most really cap out between the 90 to 110 gallons. And so the cheapest options, well, in my opinion, are going to be two hang on the back filters, or you could go all sponge filters or do some combination of one hang on the back and maybe one to two sponge filters. For just keeping the setup simple, I'm going to talk about the cheapest combination of two hang on the back filters. And so in previous setups for smaller tanks, the Marineland Penguin was the one that pretty much won out and it's still going to win out in this tank range, this size. So you really have two options here. You can either do the Marineland Penguin 350 or the Marineland Penguin 450 and you'd want two of either of those or you could do one of each. Um, the numbers just refer to how many gallons per hour filters and for 125 gallon, the 350, two of those would be plenty. So that would be 100. If you did the 450s, two of those would be 150. So I'm going to go with two Marineland Penguin 350s and so that'll be $100 for your filtration for this setup. Now for heaters, once again, you have multiple options. You'll probably want a minimum of 400 watts. It does depend on the temperature of the room. Obviously, if your room is in the upper 60s or low 70s all year round, you have good AC, good heating, then you could do 400 watts or even maybe less. If it's going to be in a cold basement or garage where the temperature is going to be pretty cold in the winter, you'll probably want more of a 500, 600 watts in total, but it really depends where the temperature of the room is going to be. For, so the options I'm going to propose, you could do a single 400 to 500 watt, two 300 watts or two 200 watts. And if I was gonna do a single four to 500 watt heater, I'd go with the brand Haituang, might be pronouncing it wrong again, but it's a 500 watt heater and that's $50. If you wanted to do 300 watts, I would do two of those and go with the high top brand and that'd be $36. Or you could do two 200 watt high tops for $32. Now me personally, I would go with the two high top 300 watts only because it's literally $4 more and it's gonna be safer for more setups. And so that's going to be one you put one on each side of the aquarium and it's going to heat it pretty well and support most situations. Now for stand, I did find it was very difficult to find 125 gallon stands. They aren't commonly listed and the ones that are, aren't sold online. You're going to have to get them in store. Probably going to do best just looking at a local fish store and if they don't have any in stock, ask if they can order ones online. The two I found that are going to be the best price is an Aquion stand. And I found that for $530 online, or you can do the Marineland Majesty stand. I found that anywhere from $400 on the low end to $600 on the high end. So either one's going to be good. I really would say it depends what you can find on stock. Aquion might be safer because it's specifically made by the brand Aquion, so it's definitely going to fit this tank very nicely. But your average cost for stand is going to be about $500. Now for your total cost for this setup, you're going to be looking at anywhere from $1,130 to about $1,300. The main difference depends on the cost of the tank. Um, the cost of the stand, there's some variety to that as well. I'm just averaging it to 500. That's really going to be the average to go with the options I picked. And the price will also depend on the equipment you pick because there is a lot of options. In previous setups, smaller tanks, uh, it was much clearer what one you want to pick to. I pretty much gave you one option that I'd go with. Uh, this one, I just wanted to kind of give more options since there's a lot of leeway in what you can pick. Now, before we go into the next 125 gallon setup, I want to ask for a favor. If you're enjoying the video and finding it useful, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, subscriptions are very appreciated. I upload videos like this, reviewing products, talking about species I keep, and sharing other aquarium adventures. Anyway, let's get back to the video. The next setup is the Top Fin Kit. So this is the best all-in-one kit. Now it doesn't come with everything you need for 125 gallon setup, it comes with a good amount. Now doing the research for this, um, it was very unfortunate. Obviously prices are going up and especially on aquarium tanks, but uh, it was kind of unfortunate to see this because this has been a tank I've had my eye on. Previously, about two years ago, it was only $625. Then it went up to $700. And I find it funny that at the start of making this video, maybe a week and a half ago, it was listed at $800 as the regular price. Now it's $900. So it kind of is a bummer that the price has gone up so much. That is a pretty big increase, about 30% increase, you know, over the last two years. 
There also used to be an Aukion version of this tank. Um, it's always been listed on PetSmart, sold by them. Uh, PetSmart pretty much went into only carrying top fin tanks. Uh, they carry a few other brands, but mainly they carry top fin ones and the kit looks exactly the same, but unfortunately they don't carry the Aukion one anymore. You might be able to find it in a store, um, but it's really gonna be an old stock that's been sitting in the store for over two years and they really only make the top fin ones. Uh, the unfortunate thing about this is Aquion is generally known for having better quality, and I know when the Aquion one was listed on the website and the Topfin one was as well, the Aquion one had significantly better ratings, about a four star, where the Topfin one has about three stars. This is still the cheapest overall tank um, of all these setups, so that is one thing to keep in mind. But um, anyway, let's just get on to all the equipment in the um, kit. So the first thing is the tank comes with the kit. The full price for the kit is $900 not on sale. The typical Black Friday sale when the tank was less expensive, $600 to $700 was $450. Now I'd guess the on sale price for Black Friday and major holidays is gonna be around $700. The light will come with the kit. The filter, we're gonna look at the same as Aquion, so we're gonna look at the two Marineland 350s and it's gonna be $100. Heater the same, we're gonna get the one as we did in the first kit, so it's gonna be $36. And then the stand that comes in the kit. The thing to know about this is it's made of particle board, and I really don't like particle board stands. Uh, most kits you're gonna get at PetSmart are gonna come with that, pretty much all the top fin tanks are. And so the thing about it is if it does get wet, it will warp. And you know, it is what it is, but for a tank this large, 125 gallons, that does worry me a lot. So that's something to keep in mind. If you do get it, you want to make sure, try your hardest to not let it get wet at all. And what I'd say is if I were to get this kit, I really would only put this kit in like a garage or a basement or now the total cost will be anywhere from $936 to $1,136. And this really does depend on the sale. Obviously, I think this kit makes most sense if you can get it for Black Friday or another major holiday where it's on sale. Hopefully you can get it close to that $700 range. Maybe it'll be even cheaper, but uh, who knows? I do think the quality seems mediocre. The reviews are mediocre. I've had problems with top and tanks before, but um, it seems kind of like Russian roulette. Um, I have a 55 gallon top fin right now and it's lasted over a year and a half. No problems, hopefully that continues, but uh, something to keep in mind. And uh, I am very on the fence about this after the price increases, you know, back when it was a $625 kit, uh, it's a pretty great deal, you know, um, and especially if you got it on sale for, you know, in the 400 to 500 range, um, absolutely great. Now with the price increases, you know, it's not that much better than the setup we just did in terms of prices. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I used to love this. I used to really want it, but now it's uh, several things made it not as ideal. And the last setup we're gonna look at here is a stylish setup. We've done this most of the tank sizes we've done. And this basically is the best value for a modern look. Well, all the previous setups we did have the normal rim tank, and obviously there's rimless tanks that look really nice because they don't have the rim on it and it just looks very more modern. I have a 65 gallon without a rim and it looks great. And so that's just something that I have to look at. What's the best value you can get for a stylish setup? So one note here is rimless aquariums get very expensive at this size. And one type of aquarium that wasn't mentioned in previous videos in this series was acrylic aquariums. They pretty much are always more expensive than glass, even for rimless setups. And that was true all the way up for tanks as large as 75 gallons. But surprisingly, when I looked for 125 gallons, acrylic actually was cheaper than the rimless 125 gallon tanks. So I'm gonna go with that choice for the most stylish setup because acrylic tanks overall look very good. They all have no rims, so they kind of have the rimless kind of look to it, despite them being acrylic. And you can see some examples on the screen how nice they really can look. And the only note that I have to say is over time, they're known to scratch way more than glass when cleaning algae. So over time, they may end up looking worse than a rimless tank, but still overall cheaper. And when you get them initially, they look just as good. So that's gonna be my pick. So just looking at all the options here, I'm gonna propose five different options. And this is looking at just the tank price. We have the Sea Clear, 125 gallon. This is acrylic, we're looking at the acrylic first. That's $1,100. Then we have a brand Truvu. That's $1,370. And then we have Clear for Life, slightly more, $15 more than the True. If you wanna look at actual rimless glass, you pretty much have two options here. You have the UNS 120U, that's 120 gallons, but close enough. It's gonna be $1,500. And then you have the Waterbox Clear, 
6,025, and that's gonna be 130 gallons, but that's gonna be $1,700 or so. So as you can see, the glass rimless ones are more expensive than acrylic. So acrylic is gonna be my choice here. And I'm gonna go with the C clear, $1,100. Obviously still expensive for a tank, but um, you know, pretty good price, more than a, cheaper than I was expecting actually. As far as the light filter and heater, we're just gonna do the same as we did for the minimal Acreon. So nothing much to say there. Now stand is where it does become interesting because for an acrylic or rimless tank, you really need a stand that's gonna sit, the whole bottom has to be flat on it. Whereas a rim tank, you really only have to support the um, edges of the tank. For acrylic or rimless, you really need to have the whole bottom of the tank touching. At least that's what's highly recommended. And you know, when you get to a tank as large as 125 gallons, uh, I think you definitely should uh, go with the best advice. Now stands specifically for these type of tanks are very, very expensive. There are two options I found, the RNJ Modern Bird Rectangular Aquarium Stand for $1,400. And then Shrugu also has one that, that is slightly cheaper, about $1,300. There also are the ones by the Rimless Tanks UNS or Waterbox, but they also were very, very expensive. Another thing you could do, this would be my personal choice, is you could use the Acreon or Marina stands that we just found in the minimal Acreon setup, but you'd need to put a piece of wood over the whole stand so the tank could sit flat on that piece of wood and maybe even a piece of foam on top of the wood would be advisable as well. But personally, that's what I would do because the stands are gonna cost you about $500 on average and then you know maybe $50 or so for the piece of wood, but uh, you're gonna save a lot of money on that way. So now the total cost is gonna be about $1,700. This is the average cost. It really depends on the any sales, but they really are on acrylic and rimless tanks. And it's still cheaper than what I spent on my 65 gallon full kit actually. So still not a bad price for all this. And you do need to keep in mind the stand, but um, I would just fit uh, the Acreon and Brilliant Land specifically for these tanks and make sure you get a piece of wood that support the whole bottom of the tank. But this personally is what I would go with. And uh, I'm curious to hear other opinions on this. So now to close out here, which setup would I go with? Now, before inflation happened and before PetSmart switched out the Acreon brand for the top fin brand, uh, I think that kit was almost a done deal. The Acreon kit for $605, uh, that was a steal. Sad that I couldn't get it back then. But uh, I'm really worried about the top and kit just quality wise. And with how much the price has increased, it's not really that much better than getting all the pieces separate for the Acreon deal. So, you know, I'd say the Acreon one is the best for the price and quality wise. If you do want a stylish setup, acrylic really isn't that too much more. So um, overall though, I'd say the Acreon minimal setup, getting all the pieces separate in the Acreon standard aquarium would be the way to go. Anyway, that wraps up the breakdown for the cheapest 125 gallon aquariums in 2022. I'm curious if there are any better deals that come up for 125 gallon tanks that people know of. And this was my last video in the series as it covered all standard aquarium sizes. If there are any quests for larger or smaller tanks, please let me know. I'd be happy to do them and do the research for them. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like so others can find it more easily. And subscriptions to my channel are always very appreciated. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll catch everyone next time.